so we're heading down to uh, pa uh, to see Polly at the Starbucks in uh, Stutterbrook. All right, and we are going to get Polly today to uh, drink a coffee, and we're going to introduce him to Shane McArdle. But the best part about this, Polly hasn't had a coffee in 35 years. That was 1984, dude. 1984. What was big in 1984? Uh, Madonna, Bananarama, Prince. What better way to reintroduce you to coffee than to give you a beautiful cup of a happy coffee? Yeah, just lick your finger and dip it in the water. It's coffee, all right. It's coffee. So what we're gonna do is. Oh. So here's what we can oh. do instead. We can. It's, just, it's coffee. Show you how sick I am. See, most people take a sip, but Polly's got to take a chug. Right? Hi, it's Polly here. I'm, I'm here with Shane down in Port Moody. And I'm looking at this new coffee drink. And I'm not a coffee drinker. I haven't drank coffee in 36 years. This is supposed to give me more mental strength and more, a little bit more pizzazz with no um, major high, which I don't want. I want to be more clarity, maybe more sexual and more, more energy to play squash and be normal. That's a guy with the most normal looking face I ever saw in my life. Can everybody use to be happier? Can everybody use to be more uh, clarity, more focus, more longevity, more oomph in the tank at the end of the day when you get back to, from work? Uh, maybe you're less irritable. Uh, maybe you can't stand your wife, but now she's all right. Maybe the same thing. Maybe she can't stand her husband, but you have a little more patience within yourself that's what's happening with this this coffee you know it's 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 incredible incredible so i'm i feel honored you have not had a cup of coffee in 35 36 years paulie so 36 years we're going to try this so thanks very much for trying it just uh, to, just so we're you're so just so you know this is not giving you anything. This is all natural plant-based. It is not a drug. It is not giving you anything. It's just allowing your brain to actually release certain hormones to balance them out. So right now, I'll be the devil's advocate and I'll say, okay, you're not high, but maybe you're more on the spectrum of low right now and that's safer than being high because we don't want high. So, so we're so scared of the high now that we're willing to accept sort of a baseline, not low, but not high, but some sort of baseline level of not highness that's very low. So maybe, because it's different for everybody, maybe this is gonna get you back onto a spectrum where you're actually gonna allow yourself to maybe feel more um, aware, more clear, more focused um, at a subtle level. So this is gonna be very subtle, but you're definitely gonna feel something and it's different for everybody. So everyone's experience is different, but you're definitely not gonna be out of control. Yeah. Definitely, because your brain can only release so many of those happy hormones, and this is not giving you any more than your brain naturally wants to release that you may possibly are suppressing due to stress. Yeah. So we're all experiencing stress here in life. Uh, there's either financial, there's relationships, or environmental, and there's diet stress. We're all experiencing some of that, and if you experience the stress, your body's not allowed or it's not able to, I apologize, to release those hormones that we're talking about. So the specific hormones we want to talk about here are dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. All wonderful hormones that your body and your brain is supposed to be able to release at a natural level. And that's all we're going to do. We're going to pick you back up to natural, baby. Okay, that's it. Let's try it, baby. Let's do it. Yeah, it's yabba dabba do time. I've done worse. I've done, I don't know, umpteen thousand shooters. So this, is <laughs> this would be all just a, not, nothing. Okay. Walking apart for this baby. Okay, ready to go? That's it. And that's three quarters of a serving, too, we gave you. Only okay. three quarters. Okay. All right. Ready? So you're going to do a taste test. Tell, tell us what you think of the taste. Okay. Brain freezer. Go when you drink coffee after 36 years, you really drink coffee, eh? <laughs> you don't even mess around. You can take a break. What's the taste? We see, a, a, see, a, a recovery addict can't do nothing in small portions, right? That's oh, yeah. showing how sick I am. See, most people take a sip, but Polly's got to take a chug, right? How do you think the taste? Taste? taste is actually really good because I have it in with this iced cappuccino. It's very, very, it's actually it's nice. It gives it a, give it a kick. 
So, so caffeine is a natural nootropic. It's a nootropic, and that's really all this is. It's a nootropic based. Nootropics are plant based uh, products that will help enhance the brain's function. That's really all a nootropic is. You may have seen the movie Limitless. Did you see the movie Limitless with Bradley Cooper? So that was loose. That's a Hollywood version of a loosely based on what a nootropic is. He took a pill, made him super uber smart. Hollywood version way out there. That's based on what this kind of is, but they Hollywooded it. They blew it way out of proportion, right? You're drinking right now a plant-based amino acid that is going to enhance something in you. And I'm looking forward to the camera picking up and you on the mic saying what is it you're feeling. And you're already feeling a tingle. You don't do caffeine, so you're going to be a little bit sensitive to the caffeine. Uh, but I look forward to the next 10 minutes of how you're feeling. I feel like I want to break out into a song. Do you do it in the morning? Do you do it at the night? Do you do it? Something like that. Uh, I personally, I personally drink this at 8 o'clock in the morning and I, I can still feel the effects of it right now. Really? Yeah. Okay, now, now, so I wouldn't recommend doing this before bed. I wouldn't recommend doing it at any time after 3.30 in the afternoon. What time is it right now? It's about, about 4.30. That, that's that's my life story. I'm always a hour, be, hour behind. I, I got to tell you, I've, it's been about seven minutes. I, I feel different already. It's weird. I feel cl like more clear, more th really? thoughts going in my head. It's weird. You actually feel like yeah, I feel I feel more 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 like focused. It's weird. Is that it's not, I, I, don't, I don't feel high, but I feel more focused because I'm pretty hyperactive. So this, this will actually this will actually bring you, although I describe it as like your peripheral vision is opened up or things kind of get a little, gotten a little bit brighter. And people think that I'm crazy when I say that, but you'll tell, this is how I would describe it. And you let me know if it's inaccurate what you're feeling right now, but I feel more like my peripheral vision's opened up. I feel more clear, but yet I'm more in the zone. I'm more dialed in. It's almost brought me in, but yet widened things up. So I, I, the, the feeling, I, I just got another thought in my head. This would be great for athletes. Especially the, the tennis player. Yeah. Ball, the focus on yeah, the ball, yeah. As a matter of fact, it's not uncommon for golfers to take nootropics. Again, anything you can, anything you can eat. It's natural plant-based. So uh, people are taking nootropics. They drink the coffee in the morning. They may take a, a certain type of food during the uh, golf game. But athletes do uh, use products to enhance themselves. But I can tell you this. I'm a goaltender in hockey. So I play goalie, and you have to be focused on multiple different things at one time as a goalie. So I have to calculate the stick, where the stick is, where the person is on the ice, calculate the shot, what am I giving the person, whether or not he's going to pass, who's on the ice and where. i got to be figuring stuff out over here while I'm focusing over there. This product here dials me right into the zone. And actually, if you don't drink coffee like you don't, um, and you'd rather prefer that there is a hot chocolate decaffeinated version as well. So we have something for everybody. Sounds good. And, and I feel like going for a jog right now. Why don't you finish that last little bit? Let's do it. Last. Mmm. <sighs> God damn, Jimmy. This is some serious going May shit. So basically what's happened now, because you were saying that, wow, I feel really good. And you're trying to put your, you know, put, put, put a, like your foot on exactly what, what it is that you're feeling. And you're like, wow, I feel really great. So I wanted to let you know that right now, basically the way I explain this is, is that you were operating somewhere at about a two or a three out of 10. Yeah. And you became, that became your normal, two out of three. And you're happy with two out of three. But now this product has brought you up to a nine. So you've gone from two to nine right now as we speak. So right now you're saying to yourself, wow, I feel really great. It was a big jump, right? That's the first time we experienced this. So that's why we only gave you three quarters of a scoop. Because knowing that, we know you're gonna have a big jump. So just know that tomorrow when you take it, now that your body's had it, you don't go from a nine and back down to a two. You now go from a nine down to like a six. So the second day you take it, you're gonna go from six to about nine. Third day you take it, you're gonna go from... Going there right now. Nice. See if they can slip me in there. <laughs> so what you're gonna experience is instead of going from a nine back down to a two, you're gonna be experiencing your nine to a six and then from six up to a nine, less of a jump. And then now pretty soon, after about three days, you're going to be operating at like a nine. Sounds good. And you can expect that every day. Sounds good, baby. Hey, Shane, I want to thank you a lot for, for this little, little interview. And I, you know what? I, I'm, I'm buzzing. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not buzzing high. I'm buzzing like my mind's going. 
Woo! I feel good. But well, we'll come back together in 10 days, Shane, and I appreciate your time. Yeah, I appreciate you too. Thanks. That was a whole lot of fun. Wow. Whoa. My mind's going, woo! I feel good.